An Introduction to Mitosis and Meiosis by John Gallo and Mariella Gratero. The cell cycle describes a sequence of events that occurs during the life of most eukaryotic cells. During interphase, the period during which the cell is not dividing, the chromatin is enclosed within a clearly defined nuclear envelope. Within the nucleus, one or more nucleoli are visible. Outside the nucleus, two centrosomes lie adjacent to one another. In animals, each centrosome contains a pair of centrioles. Cell division consists of two phases, nuclear division followed by cytokinesis. Mitosis divides the nucleus so that the daughter cells are genetically identical. It is important because it is a main source of growth for many organisms. Additionally, it is used to repair most physical injuries that multicellular organisms incur. In prophase, three activities occur simultaneously. First, the nucleoli disappear and the chromatin condenses into chromosomes. Second, the nuclear envelope breaks down. Third, the mitotic spindle is assembled. Metaphase begins when the chromosomes are roughly aligned on the metaphase plate, which is a figurative line down the center of the chromosome. Metaphase ends when the centromeres of the chromosomes disconnect and the halves of the chromosomes begin to be pulled towards the opposite ends of the cell. Anaphase begins after the chromosomes are separated into chromatids. During anaphase, the microtubules connected to the chromatids, now chromosomes, shorten effectively pulling the chromosomes to opposite poles. Telophase concludes the nuclear division. During this phase, a nuclear envelope develops around each pole, forming two nuclei. The chromosomes within each of these nuclei separate into chromatin and the nucleoli reappear. After telophase, cytokinesis divides the cytoplasm to form two cells. The results of mitosis are two identical daughter cells that have 46 chromosomes each arranged into 23 homologous pairs. Meiosis is a reduction division producing genetically different daughter cells that contain half the genetic information of the parent cells. Meiosis consists of two groups of division. Meiosis results in gametes, that is, eggs and sperms or pollen in plants for sexual reproduction. In meiosis 1, homologous chromosomes pair at the metaphase plate and then the ho homologues migrate to opposite poles. In meiosis 2, chromosomes spread across the metaphase plate and sister chromatids separate and migrate to opposite poles. Prophase 1 begins like prophase of mitosis. Unlike mitosis, however, once the chromosomes are condensed, homologous chromosomes pair, a process called synapsis. These pairs of homologous chromosomes are referred to as tetrads. During synapsis, corresponding regions along non-sister chromatids form close associations called chiasmata. Chiasmata are sites where genetic material is exchanged between non-sister homologous chromatids, a process called crossing over. During metaphase 1, homologous pairs of chromosomes are spread across the metaphase plate. Anaphase 1 begins when hom homologues within tetrads uncouple as they are pulled to opposite poles. In telophase 1, the chromosomes have reached their respective poles and a nuclear membrane develops around them. Beginning in telophase 1, the cells of many species, including humans, begin cytokinesis and form cleavage for or cell plates. In other species, cytokinesis is delayed until after meiosis 2. In prophase 2, the nuclear envelope disappears and the spindle develops. There are no chiasmata and no crossing over as in prophase 1. In metaphase 2, the chromosomes align singly on the metaphase plate and not in tetrads as in metaphase 1. Anaphase 2 begins as each chromosome is pulled apart into two chromatids by the microtubules of the spindle apparatus. The chromatids, now chromosomes, migrate to their respective poles. In telophase 2, the nuclear envelope reappears at each pole and cytokinesis occurs. The end result of meiosis is four haploid cells. Each cell contains half the number of chromosomes, and each chromosome consists of only one chromatid. Comparing mitosis and meiosis, you will find that mitosis ends with two diploid daughter cells each with a complete set of chromosomes. Mitosis, then, merely duplicates the daughter cells. As such, mitosis occurs during growth and development and for repair and replacement of existing cells. Mitosis is also responsible for asexual reproduction. In contrast, meiosis ends with four haploid daughter cells, each with half the number of chromosomes. Thus, meiosis reproduces gametes for sexual reproduction. Thank you.